All right, we're here at Barry Speedway. I'm here with the driver of the Abstract Salon, number 10 machine, Mr. Five Times, current points leader in the Thundercar division. It's the upgrade, Rick Walt. And Rick, looking back to your 2011 Autumn Colors classic win, fast forward to five straight victories here at Barry. You are having a, a, a dream season and change. I mean, 2011, the end of the season was real good to you, and you started off 2012 uh, real, real nice with this number 10 car. Yeah, we uh, did a lot of work in the off season. Even after Autumn Colors, it was fast there. We found a couple problems when we were up there. And uh, Gord Shepard, the whole Ridge Road Racing team worked uh, hard through the summer, or the winter on it, changed the rear end, a few different things on the car, and came out and it's a rocket from the start. Now, with Autumn Colors being the marquee event that it is, I mean, it, it is the biggest event in the province. And I mean, when you walk out with a victory there, for the rest of your career, especially the next season, there's a certain level of domination and a certain level of success that people expect out of you. Is that an added bit of pressure for you every time you unload here, Barry? Well, I guess there's always pressure. I've uh, I've never really had the dream season to say. I've always had hard luck and never had the, the money or the funding to, to do it. And this year, I'm in an awesome car with an awesome team. and. I'm able to show what I can do with, with good equipment. I mean, you've always been a guy to get the absolute most out of every race car you've ever driven. I mean, you, it's, you've, like you said, you've never had the, the greatest equipment, but you've gotten the most out of it. Now that you're in a good car, you're having success, are you finding some of the other drivers coming over to you and asking for tips or setup advice now that uh, now that you're the man to beat? Yeah, well, yeah, there's people coming over. They want to know some stuff, but I, I help out. I'm not, I, I want to win, but I'll help out anybody. I'd rather have 10 cars out there to race against that are all even and drive than be one dominant car and have nobody to run against. Lane no. Zardo is here today. He came over and asked me some stagger tips. I told him exactly what we're running. I'm not going to lie to him. I want to run against him and that's why we're here. Now this bull ring out here, one of the more original tracks anywhere in the province. It is, it's incredibly hard to, to pass here, very tough to keep a win here. What's the what's the biggest, I guess, secret to your success? What's the, what's the biggest thing you need to remember? as a new driver coming in here to, to, to attacking Barry Speedway and driving this place the right way? It's definitely an easy track to overdrive uh, the corners here. Three and four is, is long and sweeping. It's not as bad, but it's one and two that everyone has a problem in. That's my corner, one and two. I love it. That's where I make all my passes. If, they, if you watch the videos, that's where this car works awesome. And it's just, you got to go in there easy, float it in, and then hard out. You got to go in easier, or you're just going to push up the track. Now, you've never been afraid to tour anywhere. You've ran a lot of tracks in Ontario. Would you say that Barry Speedway, out of everywhere, is the place that really requires a, a cooler head or, or patience more than anywhere else? Well, there's just there's nowhere to pass. You got to wait and wait and wait. And you get two guys that are running side by side all night, you're not going to go anywhere. You're, I, it'll probably happen this year. I'll finish 10th one night just because there's nowhere to go. People bottle up and. It, you, yeah, you need a cool head or else. Pin falls out pretty quick when you're stuck behind a bunch of slower cars. You've had a great start to 2012. First quarter's in the books. I mean, you're, you're leading the points. Had five straight victories. Hell of a winning streak. Where do you go from here? you got three quarters left to go. I mean, what, what's the plan for the rest of the 2012 season? Uh, we're still planning on touring a bit. Uh, probably we had a bit of problems there this, a couple of weeks ago there, so we, uh, we're going to tour around, but we're going to wait till a little later on, make sure that we're comfortable with our lead here and nothing's going to happen and then we're going to uh, tour around to some other tracks around Sunset. We were thinking about going to Peterborough. There's a few different tracks we want to go try out and basically we are 110% for this championship this year and that's what we're trying to concentrate on. Now after seeing you, since you really made the jump to, to Thundercar, feel these unsponsored entries straight out of your own pocket to, to having the, the sponsors on the side of this car now, it's fantastic man. Why don't you go ahead and thank some people for me. Uh, definitely. Uh, Abstract Hair Salon, uh, Daryl and uh, Blair, they came on this year and they were a, a huge help and they're here every week that they can be and cheering us on. And uh, Ridge Road Racing chassis and setup, uh, anything you need, Gord Shepard's got parts, he sets cars up, he's amazing at what he does with these Thunder cars. Uh, obviously Ray Shepard, Shepard Family Trucking, Highway 400 Transmission, Jason Holmes. Um, Shellswell Racing, I always forget people and then they get upset but Everybody that helps out on this team, my smoking hot wife, she helps out a lot, and uh, yeah, just thanks to everybody. All right, cool, man. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. I know you're you're about to you're about to head home and no doubt do some work on this hot rod. I appreciate the time. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. There you go, folks. Driver the number 10 car here, at Barry Speedway. It is the upgrade, Rick Wall.